Hello YouTube and welcome back into another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Saints Row and I'm going to be showing you how to get two different items. Uh, the first one is the alien mask, which you can see I'm already wearing, and the other one is the alien hat. And both of these are going to be rewards for completing two historical sites. So once you've completed both of these locations, uh, and I will show you how to find them and how to complete them, you'll be able to get your hands on both of these items. And as with any rewards for historical sites, these are, in fact, unique collectible items, so there is, uh, as far as I know, no other way to get your hands on them. Uh, so, that being said, it's pretty easy to do them, uh, as I will show you in this video. So, uh, there's really no reason you wouldn't want to get your hands on them. So, with all that in mind, so you can see for the starters here, we have the alien mask, which can be found in your outfit section under helmets. And, uh, like all other items that, uh, exist in the game, as far as I know, you can customize the colors of it, but, you know, nothing really else for the clothing. So that's what the mask looks like, or the uh, helmet I should say. Then we've got the alien hat, which is kind of fun looking. It looks like it's got, uh, I don't know, some sort of a weird cloth pullover cover on probably some other type of hat, and then what looks like a vacuum tube coming out of the top of it with a dangly antenna. It's a pretty fun looking hat, and uh, again, you can customize the colors of it. But uh, yeah, so both of those items are uh, obtainable through completing this uh, these historical sites. So Let's, uh, let's just show you those sites now. Welcome to the Jasinski Pavilion. To learn more about Anthony M. Jasinski, developer of the Lakeshore Financial District, visit the nearby Jasinski Public Library. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. So, I'm gonna post it anyways. I need to get one of those new cars. Did you know? Though Jasinski vanished without a trace in 1951, his legacy endures. Performers and audiences of all ages continue to enjoy the pavilion that bears his name. That's exactly what I told them last time. Okay, not my scene. Did you know? Jasinski specified the dimensions of the amphitheater to the exact millimeter in order to accommodate the landing craft of a spaceship traveling from the Capella system, 43 light years away. Make it stop! Did you know? Antony Jasinski believed in the power of art to uplift and transform the human spirit. He commissioned this amphitheater in 1923 to serve as a venue for theater, music, and dance. Hurry! Shred everything! Shred it! The FBI will be there in ten minutes! Did you know? The Lakeshore Financial District was once a dank, fetid swamp. In 1902, Chicago native Antony Jasinski purchased the land and transformed it into the marvel you see today. Picture perfect. Congratulations, you have completed Jasinski Pavilion. Wonder what happened to the old guy. Welcome to the Jasinski Public Library. To learn more about Anthony M. Jasinski, developer of the Lakeshore Financial District, visit the nearby Jasinski Pavilion. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Oh, I think I get it. Did you know? The Jasinski Public Library was completed in 1928. 
Jasensky designed the building to serve as the capital of a future pan-Earth government. But his dream was never fulfilled. Ah, my back. Did you know? Before he disappeared at the age of 84, Jasensky revealed his skyscrapers were in fact powerful antennas through which he could speak to the aliens from outer space. Damn, I'm good! Did you know? Jasinski employed the same ingenious methods used by builders in his hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Out of a dank, fetid swamp, he built a city that would reach the sky. I have the numbers to prove it, too. Did you know? Santo Aleso purchased the building in 1958 for its main public library. And it served in that capacity until 1980, when the collection moved to a brutalist construction in Mercado. Congratulations, you have completed the Jasinski Public Library. That reminds me, I've got a library book overdue. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Well, I want to believe. And there you have it. That's how you get the alien hat and the alien mask. So pretty simple and straightforward pro uh, process. Plus, like I said, uh, or like I've said before, I like the the historical sites in this game. They're very interesting. So it's fun to listen to those uh, that, that interesting dialogue that the writers uh, put in there for us. But uh, that's how you get it, and that's all for today. So if you're interested in this type of stuff and want to collect more of the obscure side collectibles in Saints Row, I'll have a, a playlist linked in the description where I have all of the videos I've made like this. So if you want to collect more stuff, just go ahead and check those out but with all that in mind thanks so much for watching and have a nice day and we'll see you next time thanks for watching another dare to game video if you like this video please leave a like and a comment if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like my content and would like to support this channel consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month it makes a huge difference but in any case thanks for watching and have a nice day i'll see you next time